So we've identified a receptor protein called KIS1R, which stands for the KIS peptin receptor. And what our work has shown is that KIS1R levels are very high in the aggressive breast cancer cells compared to the non-aggressive breast cancer cells. KIS peptins typically in other cancers, such as ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, and melanoma, uh, just to name a few, they are inhibitory. They inhibit tumor growth and metastasis. However, what we have found in breast cancer, KIS peptins by signaling via the KIS1R receptor increases the invasion of breast cancer cells and therefore could be playing a role in the metastasis of breast cancer. So this movie shows you um, breast cells which are in the presence of KIS peptins. So the bottom panel shows you that KIS peptins actually increase the migration of these cells. So that is why the space in the middle is closing faster in contrast to the cells above which are not in the presence of KIS peptins. Typically, breast cancers are classified as being either estrogen receptor positive or estrogen receptor negative. In estrogen receptor negative cells, we show that KIS peptins significantly increase um, invasiveness. However, in cells that still express the estrogen receptor, uh, stimulation with KIS peptin does not lead to invasion. Therefore, we speculate that estrogen essentially is acting as a break and when patients lose their estrogen receptor expression, kispeptin behaves in a non-typical fashion. How this can be used clinically is that um, kispeptin receptor, whether it's present or not, can possibly give an idea of whether the breast cancer cell is going to become more aggressive and thereby more metastatic. And since metastasis currently doesn't have any good therapies to um, target it, we can po possibly think about targeting the KIS-1R receptor as a new target for metastasis.